All right, this is part three of CNET. So it went all the way to 1190, right? Is it 1190? I see it as 1204. I see it as 12. I don't know why it's as high as 1190. I'm going to really zoom in. One second. Maybe it's eleven ninety six. I don't know. Some okay. I'll give it eleven. Maybe eleven ninety two. Eleven ninety six. Whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is <clears throat> that. Um, okay. So CNET went up to there, right? And that's the top. Then every point since then has been lower, 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 lower. And I think that this is now a dip buying opportunity. I love these lines that I can make. So I think 8.30 is the dip buy. That's what my gut tells me. Um, still too scared because I say to myself, what if it goes up and then it goes down? I think it's going to, I think it can dip, um, and go and chase the highs. Sure. Why not? And if that's a dip, right? If that's your dip point, 830. It's already a dollar above that. Um, what would your risk level be? I mean, it would have to be that, 847, 838, but to get in now, it's already 60 cents above it, and see this, what if that, what if it's going down right now, I guess you just cut it 867 then, it looks like it's consolidating though, <clears throat> so, very interesting stuff. I'm going to make another video, I think, near 4 and see what happens. Ooh, trending down. 15% move in 4 minutes. Interesting.